Hello, Sumit. I welcome you once again to this episode of our online class on behalf of Gifted Hands Fashion House. In today's work, I'll be teaching you how to make a gathered flowy dress. The lower part is going to be gathered and then the upper part is going to come up with a tube, a, tube, a breast tube inside, just like the one on this picture. Come along with your sewing items, your clothes, your fabric, uh, every material you'll be needing for this work. Let's work together. Without you, I cannot do it. So click on the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you'll be getting more of our videos on time to time. Thank you. Now let's move into this work. I'll be sewing this dress with a princess that format. The upper part is going to come with princess that format. And then, like I said earlier, it's going to have a tube like uh, just a small breast tube inside. And then the main fabric is going to come up it. So let's go there. I'll use this for the lower part. This is uh, a London material, London fabric. I'll use this for the gather on the lower part of the dress. And then I'll use this for the out, outside net, for the outside lace that is going to cover up the tube-like one inside. This one will go for the tube-like and this one will be for the outside lace, okay? And then, yes, our zip, I'll be using an invisible, okay, I'll be using this zip for it. Now, to start this work, we are first going to, uh, we are going to cut our inner part, the inner part of this dress, which is a tube-like part. We are going to make it first. Okay, I'll fold my fabric with the biggest part of my upper bodies. But before that, the measurements needed here are my shoulder, my bust, my bust point, under bust point, my nipple to nipple, my half length, waist measurement, round armhole, full length, sleeve length, and round sleeve. These are the measurements I'll be using for this upper part. And then for the lower part, you have your, the full length of your gown. To make this upper part, let's finish with the upper part. The when we get to the lower part, we'll now list out the measurements needed. For the upper part, I'll have to fold my fabric with my bust measurement. My bust here happens to be 32. I'll divide 32 by four to get eight. Now eight inches, I'll be adding about five to six inches to eight inches. So when I add uh, six inches to eight, I'll get uh, 14. So I'm folding my fabric with 14. So here's my 14. Here's my 14. I folded it with 14, which is my bust measurement. And then uh, the next thing I will do is to take my half length measurement. My half length here is 15. This is my starting point. I always like marking my starting point. I'll use one inch for it. And then my half length is 15. This is 15 here, plus 2 inches in my lowers. I have it here. So I'll cut, I'll cut out from this point. So that I can conveniently work with my the main fabric. Now 
one. This is a fabric I'll be working with. The next thing to do here is to take, uh, I'll mark my chest line. I'll be working with, from this starting point or shoulder line, I'll mark my chest line. I need a chest line of 8 inches. And then from there, I'll take my bust point measurement. My bust point, my bust point measurement is 9. I'll mark it. Plus half inch seam allowance, nine and a half. From there, I'll take my under bust measurement. My under bust is 12 plus half inch, 12 and a half. And then I'll take my half length measurement, which is 15 plus two inches seam allowance to get 17. So I'm going to connect all these lines. Connect the lines. The next thing here is to measure my nipple to nipple. My nipple to nipple is uh, 6.5 divided by 2. I'll get 3.25 plus half inch seam allowance to get 3.75. So I'll mark it here. 3.75. And 3.75 and I'll connect it as so well. the next thing is to take my shoulder measurement I'm working with a shoulder of 15 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 now from this line up here I'll mark 7.5 here is my shoulder you can add half inch if you want. I'll mark 7.5 here as well. Here is my 7.5. If you are not too sure of your shoulder, you can add half inch. Now I need to get I need to get the midpoint of this armhole. This line becomes my armhole now. I need to get the midpoint of this armhole. So to get my midpoint, I'll first of all get my bust measurement. I'm working with a bust of 32 divided by 4 is 8. So I'll mark 8 here. And then from this line, I'll measure it to get half. Half of 8 and half becomes a 4.25. So I'm going to mark 4.25 here. This is my half, the, the half of my armhole. Now I'm going to connect this armhole. I'll use uh, 0 0.75 to connect it. Okay, I'll use my armhole curve to curve my armhole. Like this, and I have my armhole now. So, um, the next thing I need to do, I'll get, uh, I'll mark one inch on both sides of this armhole, like this. From here, from this uh, midpoint, I'll mark one inch up here, and then from this midpoint again, I'll mark one inch down here just like this and three places okay then from this now I'm going to mark let me level this this is my chest line this is my bust point this is my under bust my half length and then seam allowance hope you can see it now on this bust point, I'm going to mark half inch like this so that I can connect this to the bust point. See it. I'll connect this two and connect this one also. 
but while connecting make sure you repeat it on the same line so this is how it's going to be and then i'll take my dart on the under bust i'm going to mark on this side i'm going to mark one inch one inch here and two inches here here i'm going to mark my half length i'll mark half inch and two inches here now i'm going to connect these lines first of all this one i'll come down by half inch come down here by half inch so that i'll not end up having a pointed bust so i'll connect it like this and connect this one to to this line and then if the person you're making this dress for the person you're sewing for is on the slim side if the person you are working you're sewing this dress for if the person is on the slim side what you do anything you marked here you just mark the same thing down here but if the person you are working for has a big tummy here you mark half inch take half inch here but if the person is slim just take this one down here now we marked here one inch and then the person i'm making this cloth for is slim so i'll take one inch instead of half are you getting it and then i'll mark it down here and this one i'm going i'm going to mark it down as well so what i'll do here is just to connect this one to the best of my ability you can see it didn't give me a pointed uh, edge now the next thing i'll do i need to reconnect my armhole to avoid maybe after cutting my princess that at this armhole area it's not going to be equal when i sew it to avoid that i need to come up here this one inch plus this one inch that i added here i need to come up with two inches like this this is my two inches so these two inches here will enable me get an armhole that when i sew my cloth one of it is not going to be longer than the other i'm going to have it all equal so i'll reconnect this armhole like this sorry about this it's not supposed to be here. so i have it like this the next thing i'll do is to take this measurement the side measurement so on my chest line i need to take my bust measurement my bust is 32 divided by 8 divided by 4 is 8 i'll mark i'll place it like this 32 divided by 4 is 8 plus 3 inches seam allowance i'll get 11 and then i need to add like 1 inch from here to get 12 you now cut it from here so i need to add like 1 inch for the to sew it to get 12 here's my 12 my next measurement is the under bust measurement i'm working with an under bust of 28 28 divided by 4 is 28 divided by 4 is 7 i'll place it like this to get my seven this is seven here and then you know i removed two here and i marked one here which is three i'll add it to this seven to get ten here's my ten plus three inches seam allowance that i'll be needing for this work to get 13 which is this the next measurement i need to take is my half length measurement on the half length i'll take my waist measurement I'm working with a waist of waist of 28. 28 divided by uh, 4 is 7. I'll place it like this to mark my 7. 
now here is my seven and then i have three inches to add to get 10 plus three inches extra to get 13 here's the 13 so i'm going to connect those marks here i have it like this just like this okay don't mind this shape by the time i cut off and do the final uh, measurement i'm going to get the perfect shape that is expected of this point and then the next thing i'll do is to get my neckline i want to work with a neckline of three inches i'll use three by three because i don't want the neck to be deep it's going to be high neck so i'll use three here and three here i'll connect it like this And use your free hand you can curve it with your curve ruler any one of it can go now i'm going to come down here by one inch then i'll connect it connect it to my neckline that is my shoulder slant you need it because no shoulder is straight all shoulders are slanted okay so you need that so i'm done marking out for this upper part i'm going to cut it out now i'll start here I'm going to cut out from here too. So here is a princess that upper part of this dress. Here's the front princess that upper part. Now we'll move to the back part of this princess that. But before going to the back part, I need to trace what I have here to this fabric. I'll trace exactly what I have here to this fabric. This is actually going to be the inner breast too so i need to trace what i have here to this fabric first so let's do that first i folded it into two and then i secured it with my with an office pin so that i'll be able to get it perfectly perfectly okay <laughs> all right So, and I'll fold the main fabric to in two halves so that I can get this. I don't need to waste my fabric. But you can see the design is not, the design is not in this part. So let me get it from here. Get it from here. All right. And then. 
think I'm okay like this. You can still use an office pin to secure it. Uh, the, the thing there is, you don't need to make it, you don't need to shake it because when it shakes, you can obviously not get the right cutting. So I'm okay now. Uh, I'll cut from here. Cut it out. So this is okay and then I'll cut for these two sides see how I placed it the right side of this uh, satin to the wrong side of the fabric place it like this you get to opposite so i need to place it this way right side wrong side then i'll cut it out um i need to get this design these people say we just give fabric without design So I think I, I'm okay here. Then I'll cut it out. If you cannot manage, get your office pin and secure it. So it's all set, my satin, my main fabric, I've set it up together, so beautiful. So I have this now, remember I need, this one is going to be the tube form, so when we are done cutting the bag, we come back and cut this one to get our tube our tube design so let's go to the back for this this is the back this is my shoulder line or starting point i marked out two inches for my zip allowance and then this is my half length of 15 inches plus two inches in my allowance 17. now the next thing is to take my nipple to nipple measurement now to mark my nipple to nipple i'm working with a nipple to nipple of um, 7.5 sorry 6.5 now 6.5 divided by 2 will give me 3.25 now i have to measure my 3.25 here is 3.25 and then from here i'll take my shoulder measurement I'm working with a shoulder sorry i'll take my chest line measurement i'm working with a chest line of eight and then i'm also Okay, that's all I need for this back chest line. I don't need bust point for the back. I can manage under bust. So I'm using, I'm working with an under bust of 12. So I can manage under bust. Though it's not really important, but let me just mark it. Okay, so here's the nipple to nipple I marked here. So I'll just connect it. To this point but you know your back your back does start one inch below your 
chest line here's my chest line so my dart is going to start below here but before that i'll mark my dart okay now at my chest line i'm going to mark my dart half inch on both sides then i'll connect it one inch below my chest line i'm going to connect it from here don't get confused please so i'll connect it like this and connect this one to like so so i've connected my dad the next thing i need to do is to take my shoulder measurement i'm working with a shoulder of 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 here's my 7.5 and obviously, 7.5 will go down here. So I'll connect the two lines. And then I'm going to curve my armhole. I don't need to do it the way I did it for the front. Uh, that method, front method, is used only for the front. You don't do it for uh, the back. So I'll just connect my armhole like this. Sorry. connected now i move further to mark my slant one inch for my slant my shoulder slant here's the one inch and then i'll take the normal measurement the first is my bust measurement on the chest line i take my bust measurement of 32 divided by 4 is 8 here's 8 here plus 3 inches seam allowance I'll get 11. Yes, 11. And the next measurement is my underbust measurement. I'm working with an underbust measurement of uh, 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7. Plus this one here. This that that I removed. 1 inch, 8. Plus 3 inches seam allowance. I'll get 11. The next is my waist measurement. I'm working with a waist of 28 to get 7 as well. This 1 inch here, 8 plus 3 inches, 11. So I'll connect the line down just like this. And then I'll take my neckline. Remember, the front neckline has three inches for my neck width always maintain your neck width whatever you use for the front is going to be what you use for the back and then let me make the back um one and a half the length may differ but the the width always maintain it please so i'll connect it and then i'll connect like this and then this one inch I marked here, I'll take it to this point. What else? Now, um, I really wish I I do a princess dart pattern for this back as well. So if I have to go by my princess dart, just like the way we did it for the front, my bust, I have a bust of eight. Here's eight. Now half of this becomes eight and half. Half of it becomes uh, four point two five. I'll measure four point two five is here. Now what I'm trying to do here is to connect a princess that for the back. So I'm going to connect it this way. But while connecting this back princess that, please don't make it deep. Don't make it too curvy and don't make it too deep because it's going to affect you badly. So, if this uh, stuff doesn't give me what I want, I'll just use my free hand and make it. So, avoid anything that will make the back princess that too curvy or too deep. See how I just did it? Mm -hmm. So, let me reconnect it with my free hand. And then, even at this self, I still need to extend it because I wouldn't want... I wouldn't want it, I extended it with one inch. I wouldn't want it to, 
to give me problems when I'm joining. So I'm okay like that. So what next? I think this is all. I'll cut off. But before that, for my zip area, please, the zip cannot be straight because your back is not straight. To avoid your, your zip getting puffed up, your zip is not flat. To avoid making zips that are not flat, always minimize the puff. So how do we do it? You place your tape and then on your, on your half length, this is my half length here. This is my half length. Now on this half length, I'm going to come in by half an inch. Here's the half an inch. And then I'll connect from this point, from this point up here, I'll connect it down to this half an inch. Do you get? So I'm going to um, mark another half an inch here and then I'll connect it as well. So my zip allowance is going to, I'm going to cut off from here and this is going to be my zip allowance. Is that okay, but if you cannot manage this, you can extend it to one inch. That depends on the um, the, the the inches you left for your zip allowance. Actually, my own is two inches. But if you leave below two inches, I don't see how you manage it. Okay, so since I left two inches for my zip allowance, if I want to take one inch from here, I can still do it. So it's up to you. And then you know, in the at the front. We were doing plus half inch, but at this back, I didn't do that plus half. So I'm going to remove my half inch from here so that I won't have problems. I'm going to mark half inch on this slanted area. Half, half. And then I'll connect it as well. So this has covered up the half inch I didn't mark. So it's two way, it's either you mark half inches when you are taking all these lines. But if you don't want to mark that half inch, take it up here and mark it. So I'll cut it off now. So I'm done cutting and here's what I have for the back. Here's it. And what I'll do, just the way I did for the front, I'm going to trace with this uh, lace fabric. I'm going to trace what I have here with this lace fabric. So I'm done tracing it out. And here's what I have. Here's what I have. This is the center part. And here is my side part. This is the satin for it. Like so. Voila. Here is the back part of this work. Okay. So beautiful. All right. Now we are going to work on the inner, the inner tube, the tube-like structure, the tube-like, uh, uh, the one inside as like tube. 
okay here is my front fabric I want to reduce this lining to get a kind of uh, breast tube so what I'll do I'm reducing just the center part what I'll do I'll fold this fabric into two into two halves like this you can use your pin to secure it I've tacked it with my office pin. What I'll do now, I'm going to mark about five inches. It depends how revealing you want it. I don't want mine to be too revealing. So I'll mark about five inches from the shoulder point. Here's my five inches. And this five inches, I need to mark it all the way. I need to mark five inches all the way. Just like this you can draw it out with your ruler so I have my five inches there and then if you actually want a straight line you're okay with this if you want a round neck you want a straight neckline it's your choice and then if you want to make it a sweetheart neckline what do you do um, you come down by one and a half inches or two inches let me take two and then you connect it from here you connect it all the way to this two inches just like this so I'm going to cut it off from here Like this and here's what I've arrived at so this is going to be in the inner part of this fabric it's going to be like this okay this is what we are going to have here so it's just going to be like this so what I need to do now and I'm going to do it off-camera I'll cut lining for this I'll cut a duplicate of this, exactly what I have here, this three. I'm going to cut the lining for it. The same thing for the back part. I'm going to cut lining for the back part. So this is going to be like two. Maybe if you want to use this exact fabric for your lining, you cut this one, two, this one, two, and this one, two. You do the same thing for your back, uh, for the back dress. You cut each one twice okay depends you can use any lining of your choice so i'll do that off camera and then i'll iron the cloth and cut the part now let me show you how i'll be cutting my part i'm using this for my part i'll do the padding with this so what i i need to do now i don't really need to start from this tip because it's going to affect um, when I'll be doing my turnover, when I'll be top stitching. So what I need to do, I'll come down, I'll reduce the pad. I'll reduce the pad with like one inch. I'll reduce my pad with one inch. So I'll cut it. And then remember, always remember your pad stops at the under bust. See my under bust here. I'll stop here and then I'll start somewhere here. Okay, so let's cut it now. Just like this, stretch it. That's for under bust. can make my pad a little bit excess then when I sew it I'll cut off the, the remaining I'll use this to cut the side of the pad I'm using this you know the width is always between five to six inches 
and i don't want it to start exactly at this line i want it to come down a bit the same way i did with one inch seam allowance so it's going to be like this this is my under bust area mark it away from my under bust so i'm going to mark it at this point and then i'll cut off now looking at this i need to separate it what i'll do is just to slash it open or slash open like this i don't need to shape it now after i've sewn it on my fabric i'll then cut off the excess so i just have this this one like this and this one goes here like so so from the under bust goes like this after i've sewn it i'll now cut it off from here and after i've sewn this one too after i've sewn it like this with quarter of an inch i'll now cut off and then this is the mid part the center part I have this I have it like this so this is all for cutting the pad then I'll sew it round sew it like this with quarter of an inch all of them with quarter of an inch remember you have to duplicate this lining you cut it into two places this one is two this sorry cut this one one and add to this one to become two this one two and this one two the back two is the same thing two 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 for each and then this one is going to come for my part and it will be like this like this and this so the next thing I'll do I'm going to iron this after that I'll sew it with quarter of an inch from here around the part just to secure the part when I sew I'll now cut off the excesses and then here too if you need to curve it it's your choice you just curve okay curve it like um, curve it like this any shape of your choice just curve it form of a bust anyone can go and if you want to leave it like this it's still your choice so that's all for this part we are going to move to the lower part of the dress which is the part that is going to uh, go with the gathers that will use our london fabric to make the gathers please if you like what we are doing or if you like what we have seen so far please give us a thumbs up and then subscribe to this channel it costs you nothing to subscribe subscribe to encourage us for more videos thank you okay i've joined i've joined the princess that i've joined the three fabrics together you can see it here i've joined the three together and here is the inner part i've joined i've joined it so what I'll do now, I'm going to, I left about one inch here at this uh, upper part here. I left about half an inch, sorry. I left about half an inch all the way here. See it? So I'm going to use, I'm going to take my, uh, the lining. I also joined my lining, the three of them, and I use a uh, gum stay on it. I use gum stay on the lining. So what I'll do now, I'll place it like this, the right side of the lining on top of the right side of the fabric. But I'll place it on the inner part, on the inner one, inside like this. And I'll sew it with half an inch. Okay? I'll place it like this. I'll sew it all around. I'll sew it round here to the armhole. I'm going to sew it with this inner one, not this one, not this one going to sew with this inner part so i'll do it and show you 
Okay, here's my work. I've turned the front and the back with lining. You can see it here. I've turned this back with lining. This is my zip allowance here. I've also turned the front. My lining for the front starts beneath from here. I've turned it and then I used bias. I used bias to hem up the armhole and the neck. Now the next thing I'll do is um, to take my measurement. I want to take the final measurement. <clears throat> but that's after I've joined my shoulder with half an inch. I'll join the shoulder with half an inch. Now to take the final measurement, what I need to take, the measurements I need to take are my bust measurement. That is the chest line area. And then I'll take my under bust measurement and then my half length. So my bust, I'm working with a bust of 32 divided by four is eight. This time around, I'm not adding any allowance. So I'll just take uh, divided by two, sorry, not by four. I'm not dividing this time around, I'm not divided by four. I'm dividing by two. So 32 divided by two is 16. I'll measure out 16 from here. This is my zip allowance. You can use, you can use pin, office pin to hold it or you sew it up with gathered stitch. So here is my 16. I just want to show you a sketch of um, what I'll be doing, how to take the measurements. But after this, I'm going to join up this place with gathered stitch and take my measurement properly. So see how I'll do it. From here, I'll take um, my bust measurement divided by 2 is 16. Here is my 16. And then I'll check what I have left. I have four. That means two inches will come here. Two inches will come here. I'll divide the two inches uh, between these two sides. The next measurement is my under bust measurement. I'm mean, working with an under bust of um, an under bust of twelve. Here's my twelve. Then from this twelve, I'm going to take also measure what I have here. At this point, my um, under bust measurement. That is the circumference. My under bust circumference is 28. I took the length first. My under bust length is 12. So after taking my length, it is from there I will now know where my circumference is supposed to be. So from this line that I marked here, I will take my under bust circumference, which happens to be 28, divided by 2 is 14. Here is my 14. And then I will check what i have here i have um about 4.5 so each size will get 2.25 so i'm going to mark 2.25 on both sides just like this and then the last measurement i'll take is my half length on my half length which is my waist measurement so my waist i'm working with a waist of uh, 28, 28 divided by 2, I'll get uh, 14, so I'll measure out what I have here first, check what I have here, arrange your cloth properly, I'll check what I have here, and then divide it by 2, whatever I get, I will split it for the two lines, and then I'll connect the line I've gotten. I'll connect the line and sew from there on the two sides. Remember, you have to join your shoulder and then you join your zip allowance with gathered stitch. So this is how to take my final measurement for the upper bodies. I'll go back and do this and then I'll come back and show you the result. Now we are going to I'll work on the lower part. The down part of this dress is going to be gathered. Uh, it's going to be gathered. We're going to use gather stitch to make it. Now, the full length of our dress will be working with the full length, which is 60. But remember, the upper part we've got.
subtracting 15 from the upper part. So you now subtract 60 from 15 to get 45. Now the full length we need here is 45. Then plus 2 inches seam allowance uh, for to join up here and for hemming. That's 47. So I need a length of 47. I have uh, 47. I have I have about 48 and a half here. So I'll, I'm okay with it. Now, for the waist, uh, the, best, the, the owner of this dress has a waist of 28. The round waist is 28. But I'm going to make this gather into two for front and back. So the front is going to be 14. And then the back is going to be 14 as well. But what I will do... So the two ways I can uh, do this is by, I'll first take my waist measurement. I have 18 here. I could cut the fabric with waist of 18. I'll gather it until I get to 18. And then I'll join it to this one. Or I can get directly, uh, I'll divide my waist, my actual waist, which is 28 by 2, to get 14. And I will add about two inches to get 16. If I don't want to waste my fabric, and then that 16 is what I'm going to cut from this fabric for the waist. But as it is now, I want to work with this waist here, right? I have a waist of 18 here, so I'm going to get um, my actual waist, which is 18 for the front, and then this is the back. This bag is splitted into two, so I'm going to split it also into two. I'm going to split it into two. One side of the bag is going to get about 10 inches, and the other side about 10 inches, which is 20. You know, plus zip allowance, so that's why it's 20. So that's how I'll do it. But if you don't want to do it that way, you can still join your fabric can join your fabric take your measurement like I showed you and after that join everything together join your fabric together and then after joining your fabric with the measurement you got after doing that you now open up from this back here okay now open up from this back here and then uh cut your the the waist is going to be one straight waist you start from here you start sewing from here straight to this other end so i think this second method is uh simpler let's go by this second method all right so let's go by the second method i'm going to join from here I'll iron it. I'll give it a good prime. Not iron it yet. So I'm going to iron it so that it's going to uh, relax very well. So after that, I'll join. I'll take the measurements and join by this side, and join also by this side. And then I'm going to make use these measurements here for my waist. So whatever thing I get for my waist, I'm going to join one straight waist all the way. I'm not going to separate. I'm not going to split. I'm not going to use divided method okay uh, there's uh, my video on how to make gather skirt we have two methods circumference method and divided method so what i'm going to use for this is the uh, circumference method i'm not going to use divided method but if you want to use divided method it's your choice let right now i'll go and join the sides and after joining the sides I've shown you my length, how to get my length. The next thing I'll do is to remove about one inch or uh, 1.5 inch. Anyone you can manage. You remove it from this end and then you start gathering. Start making your gathers. Depends how close, how tight you want the gathers to be. Depends how you want your gathers to be. So after making the gathers, you now join to the fabric. Okay, so I'll do that and show you. 